All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I glaze uh, a new ceramic crucible. When you get new ceramic crucibles, uh, they're going to come unglazed. Uh, you, knew, you do need to glaze them with borax uh, prior to using them. Otherwise, any metals you're melting in them, whether it's silver or gold or copper or anything else, is just going to stick to the inside of the crucible. And you can see here's what they look like before they're glazed. They basically just have a very chalky appearance to them. Um, and once they're glazed, they will have exactly as it sounds, a glazed appearance. They'll be shiny. Uh, I'll take some uh, kind of close-ups uh, of that process so you can kind of see the difference as it's happening. A um, couple things you're going to need um, is your new crucible, uh, obviously, uh, borax which you can order from Amazon or eBay or a variety of other places. And then uh, your map gas torch, uh, which you'd be using most likely with your crucible and melting whatever you plan to melt in there to begin with. Um, I like to use something to set the crucible on. I'm just using this older graphite mold that I don't use for anything else. This allows me to kind of change the angle of the crucible um, as I'm putting the borax on just makes it easier to get certain edges or spots that you want to get as you're glazing uh, Just as an example, here's uh, the crucible. I'm still using um, But uh, I'll be soon probably retiring this one. Also, if you're trying to do any kind of a really clean pour uh, Something like this just isn't going to work very well for something like that You're going to want a pretty freshly glazed or newer crucible all right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is heat up your crucible uh, with your torch. Get it so that it's red hot. Uh, you'll be able to see that as you're heating it up. Uh, and I will show you again an example here in just a second. But you're gonna heat it up so that it's red hot. That way when you sprinkle your borax onto the crucible, it'll instantly start melting or glazing that crucible. If you were to just put some of the borax on the crucible before heating it up and then you put your torch to it, the torch is just going to blow that borax straight off the crucible um, and you'll find that you'll just be doing that over and over. Uh, so let me get the torch ready here and uh, we'll start glazing this crucible. Okay, so let's uh, start heating up our crucible and we'll start our glazing process. Once we got it pretty red hot, we can sprinkle on some borax. So I'm going to just get a pinch and I'm just going to kind of sprinkle a little bit on there. As you can hear, it's already melting onto the crucible. Alright, so these spots that you see right here are areas where there's a little bit too much borax. Um, I'll come back to that in just a second and talk about it a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to stop a second and show you guys, as you can see, there's some spots on there. If we continue to just torch this, those will melt down or burn off uh, as we continue here. Um, and you do want to, for the most part, get all of those burned off before you, you know, quit your, your process. If you end up with some of these at the end is fine, um, but ultimately you do want to try to burn um, most of those kind of spots off. Uh, you don't want any thicker areas. You want everything to be about the same uh, thickness as far as the glaze goes when you're done. All right, so we're probably not even a quarter of the way through here, but you can kind of see um, 
the difference here where there's areas of borax that have kind of started to glaze the crucible it's very spotty at this time and then this side over here on the right of the video or the right of the crucible as we're looking at it now is virtually unglazed and you can kind of still see it has more of that just chalky um, dull appearance to it whereas the other area is starting to get some shine where some of that borax has melted on the crucible All right, so basically you're just gonna do a nice light sprinkle on there. As soon as you're done with your sprinkle, put your torch back onto the crucible. You're gonna to wanna to be sure to burn off any excess borax if you see any of that. And basically just continue to repeat that process. So light sprinkle, evenly spaced as much as possible, and put the torch back onto the crucible as soon as you're done sprinkling that borax. And then I like to use something like a needle nose pliers to move or change the angle of your crucible as you're glazing. All right, so at this point I've completed a complete kind of rotation around the whole crucible. And as you can see, it does have a very nice thin layer of borax or glaze all, all over it. Those previous uh, spots that you saw or accumulations of thicker borax, you can see have kind of melted down and just evened out with the rest of the layer of borax. That's just gonna happen as you continue the process. You just really wanna avoid getting any large clumps in there. If you do, again, you're just gonna to have to take a little bit more time to kind of burn those down. Uh, they'll smooth out um, with the rest of the process as you continue to glaze your crucible. The key point here really is not using too much borax. You're just taking very small pinches and applying very light pinches at a time. Uh, after that borax hits the crucible you want to put your torch right to it that'll again help blow off any excess areas of borax and make your layers uh, more even as you're glazing all right once you believe you're done take a good look at it make sure that you haven't missed any areas also be sure that you've covered the upper rim really well and especially where your pore spout is in this case i think we have a good layer and we're done all right, so let's uh, melt a little silver in our freshly gl glazed crucible here and see if we have any uh, sticking points. All right, so as you can see, it worked out pretty well. Um, you know, I swirled that silver around in the crucible a fair amount, uh, and we have no real points of sticking. So I think we got a good glaze on this crucible. Really, um, if you did find that you missed some spots after doing your first pour melt, you could go back and do another light layer of glaze um, with the borax on that if necessary. Now, had I not glazed this, that silver would have just melted and stuck all over the sides of this crucible. All right, so here's a closer look at the crucible um, after that glaze and first use. Um, and you can see the silver came out great as far as not having any, you know, extra borax on it or uh, any of that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, that's really what you're looking for. Again, if you get a little extra borax on there, no problem. It will come off with some of your first pours. Um, but keep in mind, if you're trying to pour a really clean bar or something like that, um, you're going to have to buff or polish that off. And there is a different look between something that's been buffed or polished than something that was poured really cleanly. So again, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video uh, and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.